What's going on, fight fans? Once again, it's Max. They're doing it for her, D-I-F-H, whatever you want to call me, and I don't know what this dude was doing. I think he tried to play that method where he pretends he's not there, and so I walk in and he tries to, like, fuck me up, but it didn't work, so I threw the leg kick because I knew that's what he was doing, but he's rolling with BJ Penn. I am being Martin Campman, uh, a guy I actually really, really like, and am so happy that he just won his fight against Jake Ellenberger. Fucking Martin is awesome, man. Always coming back on the bridge of, you know, defeat. They even talked about it before the fight that he gets screwed sometimes. Like, he really should be 12-2. Well, now 13-2 and two in his UFC career. But he's had two, uh... And, but on the end of two bullshit, you know, calls. But, uh, it's, uh, it's alright. No hard feelings, I'm sure. He's not that too worried about it. You know, he's a fighter. They get over that stuff. Right here, I go for the submission. I almost get it, and I was trying to. But BJ Penn's a hard dude to, you know, tap out. I started to get it going at the end, and if I would have had a little bit more time, I knew I would have got it, but anyways, uh, Martin Campman just defeated Ellenberger, it looked like Martin was done in the first round right away, but he weathered the storm, that was nuts, Ellenberger came in wild with a fucking fury of strikes and knocked him clean on his ass, not gonna lie, and uh, then when Martin recovered, they kind of just sat there on the ground for four minutes doing nothing, and Dana White even got on Twitter and said, there we go, Steve Mazzagatti fucking up a fight again. <laughs> oh, man, Dana's feud against fucking Steve Mazzagatti is fucking hilarious. But, yeah, it was a fun night of live tweeting. I fucking actually love to do that. Be sure to follow me on Twitter for all the dumb shit I say or to follow uh, the fights with me because I do like to live tweet all of them. It's something really fun that I like to do. So, yeah, uh, Jake uh, gets knocked out via knees. Uh, I don't know what's going to be scored as TKO or knockout because the knees dropped him and then Martin finished him off really fast so not really sure but dude it did it looked like Martin was losing he gets busted up really bad in the second round his nose was pouring he kept wiping it you knew it was a problem but he comes back and oh holy shit staggered Ellenberger and then just went in for the finish kind of like the the Alves fight man it looked like he was getting destroyed and literally was going to be like two minutes away from a decision loss but uh, Alves fucked up and did that rookie mistake, as Dana White called it, and, uh, Martin flipped it over into a guillotine. Was it a mounted guillotine? And then he won. I'm not sure. Now, I don't know what the hell happened here. I rocked him, and I kind of, like, shit myself and spazzed out, and I was like, woo! And you'll see me kind of do that again in the next round before it ends. Yeah, because for some reason I thought, uh, Martin had a fucking, like, flying armbar or something, and I really wanted to get the submission victory, but... I, I stop after that. Uh, I don't go for another submission attempt. You'll see me spaz out again, like I said, but enough about the gameplay, really. Just those fights were awesome. Ultimate Fighter came to a close. Kind of blows that uh, Cruz is out. I really kind of dislike Faber, but like I said, I'm not biased. I've said that in many videos. I'm willing to, you know, give people chances and stuff and not be a hater. Like, I really don't even like Ellenberger, but I was not counting him out. You saw me on Twitter. I was actually giving him props and shit. But that's how, this is how I am. I like to keep an open mind when it comes to just about everything. And uh, I was really looking forward to Cruz and Faber fighting, but, you know, Faber, uh, Cruz out on injury. But now there was a rumor that Faber was out on injury, and there wasn't even going to be an interim title fight now. But uh, I guess that's been squashed, but it's not confirmed. I don't know. I don't, whatever. Faber looked good at the card tonight. Uh, he got this motorcycle uh, in the ring, got announced by, like, one of the guys that works with Harley Davidson. But it was pretty fucking sweet. Michael wins the Ultimate Fighter. I know I thought I was I thought Al was winning it. It was awesome though. What a story, man. His father dies as soon as he gets his spot in the house. He goes home really quick, comes back, makes it all the way to the finals, and becomes the ultimate fighter, man. What a movie quality story, bro. That just blows my mind. I mean, I thought Al was winning. Al's a beast. I'm not gonna count him out either, but fucking there's a head kick knockout to finish off this player match. Hope you guys enjoyed this you know, post-fight card results video for me that I like to bring to all of you, especially those that don't get to, you know, see the fights or something or hear about them. But if you want to check out the knockout, if you missed it, be sure to do it. Once again, Michael won the Ultimate Fighter. Really awesome story. Like I said, movie quality fucking story. He comes in, wins it all after his father died. Really emotional. Fucking awesome. He deserves it. Nobody... Nobody else is deserving as him to win it, and I'm so glad he did. But that's the video, guys. Until next time, I'll see you later, fight fans.